Mommy, daddy, love. Showing support. Yeah. Hopefully making history. Still got the AQ football on. Hopefully she got AQ it. basketball. And we're at lacrosse. Y'all used to coming to these uh, postseason games. We used to be in the championship. We used to win in the championship. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Oh, so your wife is outspoken. She's outspoken, but you're always here on the scene. She's the bark, I'm the bite. Ooh. That's where they get it from. Now, now this is the genius right here, right? <laughs> this is the genius who gets straight A's or something like that. Every, uh, yeah. <laughs> impressive. Always at the events. Three sport athlete. I don't think anybody has ever done it this big. Three sports. The kid is a winner. Yeah. Kid is a winner. Yeah. Every squad he plays for, they seem to do well. Yeah. Coincidence? Is that is that dad or is that mom? Is that a blend? Probably more bad than mine. <laughs> That's why they out. That's why he out there. Back home, they want to know your measurements, man. What, what's the real measurements? Six five three twelve. Six five three twelve. Yeah. What you run your forty in? I haven't ran a forty since I've been hurt. I haven't run a forty since I've been hurt. Yeah. yeah. So you've been hurt. Yeah, I took my MCL. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna be good this season? Yeah, I'll be good. You'll be good. Is the uh the rehab is it real? Yeah. It's every day, just like a workout. Oh yeah. It's every day workout. You ready? So this you coming into your last season of football, right? That's a grind, ain't it? Yeah, it is. That's a grind. Four seasons, so you know you don't play a lot of ball. You plan on playing at the next level. Yeah. That's what you're going for. Hopefully, we'll see. The next level of ball, man, no doubt, man. How you feel about little bro, man? You don't got a ring in every single sport, just about. He just. <laughs> I let him be great. Who who would have been nicer in a game of one on one basketball? Y'all two have went at it. Who who would have who would have dominated each other in the game? Or you know, you know y'all got to go and play a game. Or you know maybe kill the man with the ball. Y'all had to go and line up against each other. What happened? Me, he knows I'm the alpha. He knows I'm the alpha. He knows I'm the alpha. All right. So say y'all get into it at the house. You know, went through a couple years at, at Notre Dame, hitting the weights, getting swole. Are you ready to try him then? I don't know about your cousin. I say he. I got to convince him. I think after it too. That's what's up, man. What's a different mindset now, man? Once you get to D1, everybody out there is normally like Mr. New York, Mr. Ohio. What's the difference? I remember that day I saw him. Trying to be Mr. All America. Mr. All America. Trying to get to the next level. How are the bowl games and the traveling? 
Do you ever get tired of hotels? Does it ever? Uh, really. I like, I kinda like, hotels are quiet, so, you know, I kind of like the whole hotel idea. Um, you know, we fly, fly charter to our games. Okay. Ooh, that kid got hurt. Uh, and then, like, um, you know, bowl games. It's a fun experience because, like, you get to enjoy the city for a little bit because you're down there for, you know, for a good week. Let me ask you a question now. I don't know if there's a bigger fan ever. And Miss Lakeisha right here. Yeah. Is, is there a bigger supporter? Like, how do you guys do it? You know, like, she is nonstop. I see her. She put up you guys' posts. She's really, really, really proud. Yeah, she, she is. Does she call you guys all? Does she call you every day? get is a snooze. A snooze. Yeah. <laughs> Three sport athlete, Jameer. Yeah. How you feel about all these cats who only doing one sport? You gotta get better. You gotta do more. You, you ready to head off to Notre Dame? Yeah, can't wait. So you out here, you never stop going, do you? Nah. When do you, when, when do you leave off? Uh, June 11th. June 11th. You pumped up? Yep. Lean team, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, what is your brother, uh, what is he about to be in for? Heading off to school. Hell. <laughs> it's real. Yeah. <laughs> Tell everybody back home because everybody, you know, they just want to be D1. And they think once you're D1, that's everything. What happens? Yeah, it's hard work. I mean, you got to get used to it. Different culture. Different culture? Different culture. Is uh, D1 ball, is it easier? Or what does it, what does it compare to high school? It's faster. Faster? A lot faster. A lot faster, so yeah. speed is a factor. Speed, speed is really not, not really speed. I want to say more IQ and awareness. IQ and awareness. Yeah. So how, how's the uh, daily life schedule? You know, for D1 athlete, you know, is it? Yeah, or like they You know, you, you got lift in the morning, uh, classes, the rest of the morning up until then. You got meetings, practice. And that goes to about like seven or eight o'clock. Then you got study hall or homework. Non-stop. Non-stop. It goes all day. All day long. All day long. So it just isn't about the glitter and gold, is it? No. Uh, no. Yeah, just, they just get to see what happens on Saturdays. Oh, yeah. It's a long week. It's a long week before that. Great job.
great bench tonight. All right, let's break it down. Come out here on top. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. 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 Let's and we, we, we made a statement. I know, but aren't you proud of your son? I'm very proud of my son. How very. many sporting events have this been? I don't even want to count. Because, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. And he's been playing lacrosse since he's in the third grade. Been playing basketball since he was four years old. Been playing football since he was four years old. So it's been a long time. And he's a, he's the third of the boys. He's the last boy. So all of them play lacrosse? No, Jameer was the only lacrosse player, but all of them play football and all of them play basketball. So you've been at going to different sporting events, you've been all over, you're vocal, you're always behind them rooting. Is this sort of a bittersweet moment right now? No, because I'm going on to bigger and better things. Ooh. Great Notre Dame. I got, I got five more years possibly at Notre Dame, and right now I'm about to go make history watching both of my boys play on the, on the field. Whether they play or not, just the fact that I'm going to be there and they're going to physically be there on the team with a scholarship that I don't have to pay for at a $72,000 school. I don't think there's no more needs to be said, but it's a God's blessing. Ooh. Peace. <laughs>